Good morning and welcome to the City of Durdensville Municipal Courthouse. So, anyone who is familiar knows that you can catch routes 55 and 34 to get to this courthouse. Across the street, Everlasting Park, where most of you who arrive by train will most likely travel through. Upon entering the courthouse, please be reminded that all cell phones, wallets, keys, everything needs to be removed from your pockets in order to get searched. Individuals who refuse to consent to a search will be denied access to the courthouse. Once you have been searched, you will report over to this room for to speak to the clerk for whatever official court business you have came in for. If you are here for a an hearing, and the hearing is not of formal nature, but it is also not a trial, you will most likely proceed to these elevators. Unless your hearing is a traffic hearing, traffic court is held in this room weekly, excuse me, daily, where's that light switch? Traffic court is held in this room daily, Mondays through Fridays at 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. This is currently our traffic courtroom. If you are here for child custody cases, lawsuits, you will most likely be sent to these elevators and asked to proceed to the third or fourth floors. Criminal matters are located on the second floor. So as you can see on our fourth floor, we are approaching, who keeps turning the lights off in these rooms? We are approaching the court clerk's office. Fines and assessments can be paid. You can't stand on the counter. You can't stand on the counter. Bye. Fees and assessments may be paid on this floor. Every, every office, every court has offices in this building. But in case of a criminal trial, you will most likely end up, although through a different entrance, in one of our four criminal justice courtrooms. I can tell this courthouse really doesn't like lights at all. If you are sent to this courtroom, you're most likely involved in a criminal trial. Juror services are also located on our first floor. So if you are in court, and you have to answer to charges, you would most likely appear here before a judge. If a judge has decided to hold you in contempt of court because for any reason you have decided to be foolish in the courtroom, then you would end up back here where you would then be, where you would then wait to be taken into custody and held in contempt of court. 
this room right here is the jury deliberation room. The next room is the office, the judge's chambers. Most civilians will never walk past the second door though. Over here is a debriefing room for our lawyers. Not where lawyers meet with clients, however. Those would be the two meeting rooms up front. Fun fact, did you know that a vast majority of court cases never actually make it to a courtroom? Most court cases can be solved in boardrooms just like the one that we saw earlier. One discrepancy about the way this court building is set up is the light, open, airy design of the atriums and the hallways, but then the more claustrophobic, older design as far as the way the courtrooms are designed specifically. Emory Healthcare is designing a hospital in Rosenthal that will use the open concept where patients will be able to look out windows and see into gardens. Right over there is the Ramon Doherty Children's Hospital and Dorsey Hospital. Down the street from here is the new City of Durbanville Detention Center. This stairway is usually left open for access. If a person does not feel comfortable taking the elevators, they could come down this way and take the stairs. If you manage to get through your court session without getting arrested or getting fined more than you could pay or getting angry in the courtroom, well, you can walk right back out of these doors. There is the court, there is the parking garage that is affiliated with this courthouse. Remember, the entry fee is $6. Any time after that, it increases $2 for 30 minutes. It increases by $4 for an hour. And then it increases by to a maximum of $11 for anything over an hour. Parking is incredibly expensive in the city of Melchizedek. This is why we recommend using public transportation for all your affairs. The medical center station is here to help. Right next door, a convenient five minute walk from the Durdensville Courthouse. The medical center station connects you to the entire KRTA network with two crosstown bus connections a green line service to Dortyville and a blue line service to Powder Springs. There's also a green line service to Richmond. Passengers who need to go up north to places such as North Havenbrook can take the blue train or the green train one stop and connect to either the four or one trains that goes and runs throughout the city of North Havenbrook. If you need to go downtown, remain on the blue or green train. If you need the airport, go to Grand Central Hunter College Station and switch to a purple or a red train. If you have difficulty accessing public transportation, and you are not able to afford a ride, such as a Lyft, Uber, well, we are able to assist with that. We have paratransit available for those who are disabled, on Medicare, and persons who have been considered, um, a, and persons who are ages 65 and older. Also, right nearby is our Bergam Airport. Bergam Airport is not a major airport hub, but rather an overflow airport for 
Eisenhower. Well, thank you for taking this tour of the city of Durdensville. We are reaching our city limits, so we're going to go ahead and stop here. But thank you, and have a wonderful day.